So in this example, we've got these three uh, planes. So we want to determine what situation this represents. Okay, what's going on here? So the first thing you want to do is you want to figure out are any of these parallel to one another? Okay, so I mean, one, if you're not quite sure, one way to do that is to look at the normal vectors of the three. So I know we haven't done the vectors section yet. Uh, I did mention the normal vector when we talked about the planes in the, one of the previous videos. Um, but if there are multiples, if the normal vector uh, have multiples of one another, then that is a, uh, they are parallel. So for this first one, the normal vector is 1, minus 1, 1. And the second one, you've got 2, 1, minus 2. And for the third one, you've got 5, minus 2, 1. OK? So it's built by the coefficients of the x, y, z. Now, are any of these multiples of one another? So you'd have to multiply that one by 2 to get that one. So that's not quite right. That's not going to work. Uh, to get that one, you have to multiply it by 5, but that's not going to work. To multiply that one uh, by 2.5, but that's not going to work either. So that means that they're not parallel to one another. OK, so that's a quick check that we can do initially. So they're not parallel. No, none of them are parallel. OK, so that's the first check. Next check is we can work out the determinant of the coefficient matrix. OK, so the determinant of the matrix, 1, minus 1, 1, 2, 1, minus 2, 5, minus 2, 1. OK, so I'm going to go to the matrix calculator on my um, calculator. The matrix calculator on my calculator. So matrix A, three rows, three columns. One, negative one, one. Two, one, negative two. Five, negative two, one. So matrix calculation. And let's go and do, um, oh, where are we going? So option, uh, matrix A. Where am I going? Oh, there we are. OK, so determinant uh, of matrix A. Sorry, I'd forgotten where it was. There we are. So the determinant of matrix A is 0. OK, so. Right. So that means, because we've got none of parallel, that knocks out a few cases. We know that it's inconsistent, OK? So it's a singular matrix. Um, there is no inverse matrix, so there's no one solution. So it's now down to us to kind of figure out what situation this is now, OK? Either you've got a sheaf or you've got a triangular prism, OK? So, um, so remember, a sheaf is if you were looking at the all three planes side on, then the three planes would intersect at a line, OK, going through the board. Or... Uh, you've got a triangular prism, okay, looking at them side on. So if there is one uh, solution that is consistent, okay, um, then we would have this situation, the sheaf. If it's inconsistent, then we've got this situation. So we're going to have to do a little bit of investigative work here, okay? So what I'd probably want to do is to eliminate. Let's go with the Z's. Eliminate the Z's from um, two sets of equations. So let's go with equation 1, 2, and equation 3. So let's number them, OK? Um, and what we'll do is we'll have equation 2 plus two lots of equation 1, OK? Now knock out these Z's. So we've got 2x plus two lots of x, so 4x. And we've got y plus two lots of negative y, so minus y. Uh, then we've got minus 2x plus 2, sorry, minus 2z plus two lots of z. They're gone. 1 plus two lots of 4 is 9. Right, OK, so we've done that one. So now let's do equation 3, take away equation 1. So 5x take away x is 4x, 
minus 2y take away minus y gets me minus y. z take away z is 0. 13 take away 4 is 9. So what we've arrived at are two uh, uh, consistent equations. Okay, so because we've got the same thing here, or, or these equations reduced to the same thing, they're the same in this case, okay, that means we've got the consistency, which means that we've got a sheaf. So these are consistent. So the planes intersect along a line. So that is a sheaf. So there are infinitely many solutions along that line. Okay? So that's how we can determine which of the two it is.